members, and that is to serve the children of Jefferson County. All right. of in my 40s towards my 50s this year and I thought oh my I started thinking about the fact that all the children in these schools will be taking care of me someday <laughs> and that 
that became more and more clear about how important it is that that really is tomorrow inside. Um, and I love Nelson Mandela's quote that education is the most powerful weapon that we have and we can use to change the world. And that's what we're doing. One last quote, it says, the difference between school and life, in school you're taught a lesson and then given a test. In life, you're given a test that teaches you a lesson. And I thought, wow. So as we take those exams this year and we're giving those tests, just thinking about no matter what uh, role you play in our school system, remembering that we're, that's what we're about. We're about teaching lessons. We're about training kids to live life because that's what this is about. And I thank you again for that. So as you're off to great places, today is your day. And that's what this is about. It's your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way, the great Dr. Seuss. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to get the opportunity to announce one of my wonderful coworkers who I just love very much, Miss Kathy Skinner. Good morning. Before I start, I just want to make a very clear point. This morning I was going through my closet trying to figure out what to wear and I was like, well, I can't wear red, I can't wear blue, I can't wear burgundy. You know, my wardrobe was very limited, so I found pink. So this is pink. As much as I love Charlestown Middle School, I am wearing pink. <laughs> okay. Um, to make sure I keep my remarks within about a minute or so, I went ahead and wrote them down because there's no timekeeper since I'm normally assigned that job at our meetings. Thanks, Mr. Osborne. So I want to make sure I don't go over and somebody buzzes me. So let me just go ahead and jump in. If you attempt to use a description of Jefferson County Schools according to Wikipedia, not always the most accurate source, but a huge internet giant, Jefferson County Schools is the operating school district within Jefferson County, West Virginia is governed by the Jefferson County Board of Ed. Well, Wikipedia is not the be all and end all because it leaves out the heart and soul of our school district, the students and the staff. This morning, while our students are enjoying their last few moments of summer vacation, all of you are preparing for a great year ahead. From the bus drivers who safely transport our children to the aides and administrators who greet each student in the morning as they enter our halls eager to learn. From the teachers who strive for academic excellence to the coaches that encourage and push our children beyond the classroom. From the food service staff who keep our students nourished to each custodian and maintenance crew that keep our facilities clean and safe. And finally, the central office staff that coordinates this $80 million orchestra that consists of 17 schools and about 1,200 employees. You make the difference. Indeed, you may be the one to make the difference in a child's life. Thank you as a board member, a parent, a business owner, and as a resident of Jefferson County. I am proud to be part of this school system, and you should be proud as well. Jefferson County school system is a strong pillar of our community, as well as a shining star within our state. From baseball team legacies, to the highest ranked bands, from the thespian and FFA recognitions, to computer programming triumphs, from attendance records to academic achievements, you should be proud. Showcasing the dedication and impact each of you carry both inside and outside the classroom is never an easy task. However, we were able to capture a small part of what some of our parents, students, and community members value throughout our school district. Please join me now as we witness the footage our video production experts filmed with our partners in education. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Hamill, Mayor of Ranson. Ranson honors its school. We're so proud to be a part of partnering and doing what we can to support those schools. School is Ransom, schools in Jefferson County. Wherever you are as a teacher, you have the responsibility to bring forth the very best that you can with those students. God bless you all and thank you very much for being a part of everything that we do in our community. Thank you very much. What I like the most about Jefferson County is, is how each teacher really wants each student to succeed. If I'm sick to finish an assignment, I have that time. And even when I come back, they always try to get me up to date and 
it's really helpful. It's very, very helpful. My son's sixth grade year, he was struggling with the subject of math. We connected my son and Miss Bird and started tutoring right away. In no time, his confidence level increased, and in fact, he started to say that he actually enjoyed math. His confidence now is such that he is no longer concerned or worried about the topic of math, and I give a considerable amount of credit to that, to Miss Bird and to Wildwood Middle School for identifying that sometimes just finding the right person to relay the information is the key to success. Moving here in seventh grade was it was pretty fun because at Harpers Ferry, that's the middle school I went to, all the teachers just really helped me adapt to the new school system and everything. And it was just, they gave me a really good time and it was just really fun. And I'm on the swim team, I'm on the track team, I'm in the band, and every single one of them is just so fun. One of the hardest things for a mother is when you have your children with you for five straight years and then you have to trust complete strangers to take over, um, it's very difficult to just send them into the world without knowing who they're going to. Thankfully, I did not have that problem. Um, Kristen Martin took time out of her day before the kindergarten season ever started for my oldest and she took us under her wing and explained the policies and procedures and things that needed to be done and things that she expected out of not only the children but us and her staff and it was a very warm welcoming environment from the beginning and now that my oldest is going into fourth grade it's still been a fantastic experience the teachers have all been wonderful they have helped my son to have a love for learning and he has excelled in every single area even when he struggled in one the teachers have been extremely supportive and the open communication between the the email and Facebook and parent teacher conferences and being welcome in the school whenever it really helps to have the confidence to let other people enter your life and help raise your children um, I'm getting ready to have my youngest go into kindergarten and the anxiety of seeing Sending him into kindergarten is not even there because I know the staff and the principal and the secretaries and the specials teachers and they're just all wonderful amazing people and we really want you to know how much we appreciate you how much we trust you and how much we thank you for taking care of our children just like they're your own thank you very much rarely have I met a teacher who is so involved dedicated and motivated to help the students succeed in life outside of school as well as inside of school. Ms. Stengel goes out of her way to ensure that all of her students understand exactly what she's teaching. If it appears as though they don't, then she will ensure that she can find another way. She provides an environment where the student can feel safe, hopeful, and excited about learning. They also feel like you don't just belong to a family of school students, but to a regular family. Everyone around you becomes another part of you. My older son, is going into his junior year at Jefferson High School. He was assigned to the uh, very popular and very well-known Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey has a way of balancing a sense of humor, the discipline, his passion and his enthusiasm for the subject matter resonates with the students. Whether they like history or not, somehow they find a way to like history because of Mr. Ramsey's enthusiasm for, for that topic. Washington High School is a place of great opportunity, not only in the school, but outside of the school. There are many ways you can apply for programs that enhance in education and leadership. I recently went to both GSA and Hobie. GSA was Governor's School for the Arts, and it was lots of fun, and I learned a lot about my instrument. Hobie was a leadership camp, and that was helped. I learned about that through my guidance counselor, who suggested that I do it. Not only that, there are many different classes that you can take so that anybody with any interests can have fun. There are also a variety of online classes that you can take, and overall, it's just a great experience. The teachers are always willing to help you out and help you do your best. The best thing about Jefferson County Schools is that it's allowed my girls to have experiences in things that they wouldn't have had to do, been able to do before. Um, being band kids and soccer kids and honor students, they've done it all. And they've grown up into some pretty incredible people. Just waiting to see what happens next. My favorite gym teacher was Miss Weinbitter and Jim. We always played fun games and Austin was always in there and Austin was always in there too. Um my favorite thing was reading. 
because that was what I was best at. I always got very good grades on it. Math was the hardest for me, but all the teachers were good and they helped me get better at it. That's the reason why I like my school, that all the people are nice and are there to help. That is a very hard act to follow. But I, I must just once again add, and the thanks of the board for all you do uh, for those students. Uh, we, we do appreciate you, and that's why we're here today. I want to make, uh, before I make a special introduction, I'd also like to give a special thanks to uh, Mayor Hamill of Ranson, uh, not only for helping with today's event and all that the city of uh, Ranson does for us and for, for Ranson Elementary, but uh, Mayor Hamill has been uh, uh, and is a terrific uh, public servant, local leader, and visionary uh, in local government. We're very uh, fortunate to have him in our community. Um, <laughs> Now I get to make a special introduction, and I must start with uh, just a couple of stories. As you know, uh, your board has been involved in a search for a superintendent for uh, the most of uh, last spring. We had a very intense uh, interview process with uh, a half a dozen or so candidates, and. Uh, all of these were pretty uh, intense sessions. They last for several hours. Every board member was involved and had a series of questions that they would ask and re-ask and re-ask. This, this person at the end of the uh, hour and a half, two hour, the first two hour interview, at the end we said, uh, well, is, do you have any questions for us? Or is there anything you need? And this person looked at, looked at uh, several of us and said, yeah, where's a good place to go for a hike? Fortunately, we're in Jefferson County, so there are lots of great places to go for hikes around here. We knew then that this person, not only had she done her research on our school system and our schools, but that she loved our area, and that that was gonna make all the difference in the world. And so, uh, now I must also add, just for the record, we did not ask, nor did she volunteer in the interview, that she could get however many teachers, staff, and aides on school buses doing cheers, showing up on the first day. Because if she had, I'm not sure where we would have gone. But thank God it didn't come up, and thank God we're here. And it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Bondi Shea Gibson. Woo! Bondi! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so, thank you very, very much. And, uh, Oh, the mic works, that's good. I'm not sure I'll need it. I'm, I've been a middle school teacher for a long time. I could probably project without this mic. <laughs> Woo! So, um, wow. First and uh, foremost, I, I wanna say thank you. Um, this, as I look out at all of these faces right here, this, this is exactly why I came to Jefferson County. <laughs> This is exactly why I came to Jefferson County, why I brought my son, my family here, because this is a great community to live in. It's a great community to work in. We're gonna um, talk a little bit about Jefferson today. We're gonna give you some information, talk about where we are as a county, talk about where we're going. And at the end of the day, we're all gonna continue um, we're gonna to continue to stall for time while Rob Perks pulls up the video. While the incomparable Rob Perks. Pulls up the video. So part of this is about a story. Part of it is telling the story of Jefferson County Schools. That's part of the responsibility of all of us to represent our school system and represent our students and their success. So 
One of the things that we want to talk about is the Jefferson County that you know, the folks that make this county up, the people that we serve. So a couple of things for you to know about Jefferson County. One of the things is this is the safest place to live in West Virginia. Has the lowest crime rate of any county in the state. This is the healthiest place to live in West Virginia. Okay. Has the lowest rates of smoking, has the highest rates of insurance and exercise. Thank you, Running Mountain Shop. This is the best educated county in all of West Virginia. We have more families, more parents with degrees. And this is the wealthiest county in West Virginia. 60, I know, you're like, hey. higher than the state average, which I'm guessing is, uh, yeah. So, what does the county with the healthiest, safest, wealthiest, best educated populace in this state make a decision to do every single day? They make the decision to turn their children over to you at higher rates than any other school system in this entire state, and higher than most in the nation. These people, this county trusts you. They put their faith in you. These are the safest, wealthiest, best educated, healthiest people in the state, and they put their children in Jefferson County schools and send them every day at rates that are double anywhere else in the state. Okay, so that's a lot to be proud of. So when we're talking about Jefferson County schools and who's coming here, um, it's no small secret I think that Jefferson County schools actually is increasing in terms of enrollment. Now it's gone up and down over the years, 100 kids one year, we had five extra kids last year, but it's a population that's continuing to grow. It's also a population that much like the rest of this country is becoming more and more diverse. Actually right now, Hispanic students are the largest minority group in Jefferson County. We're at nearly 8% Hispanic students. These are students that will need additional services in order for us to support them. Now, in contrast to what you saw a little bit earlier, and this might not come as a surprise to some of you, Ranson Elementary. Yeah. Woo! But we have a lot of families in need in this school division. We have families who are coming from poverty, who quite frankly, they're doing a great job, they're working the best that they can, they're doing everything that they can for their kids, but sometimes they can't give them the same supports, the same cultural experiences, the same help that some of the wealthier families might be able to. So it's our responsibility to close that gap. We are the great equalizers. We are the ones that give everybody the same opportunity to succeed. All right? So, we're getting more kids. More of those kids are coming from impoverished backgrounds. More of those kids have special needs than what they had in the past. We're a system that's changing somewhat. All right? Now, what resources do we have to meet those kids' needs? People resources is one, that's our best resource, but it takes money to buy people, right? to buy services. So this is the national average of what a per pupil cost is. Across the United States, that's the average of what a school system spends on a child to educate them. This is the average in West Virginia. Yes, please, I, I hope you recognize that. <laughs> and this is Jefferson County. As you can see, it is slightly lower than the rest of West Virginia. So what may come as a surprise to you and to some of our citizens, but trust me, they'll hear it in the coming months as we discuss the levy, that for the wealthiest county in West Virginia, we are 31st out of 55 counties 
in terms of the amount that we spend per pupil. So what that means is that in terms of money, the citizens of this county are getting a hell of a bargain. Let me just tell you, 31st in the state in funding and some of the best performing faculty on the planet. All right? So for me, I wish things worked differently, okay? I, uh, if, if the world worked the way that it should, this is how things would actually be. That is my dream world right there, as a woman who loves football. Um, and certainly, I, should, I so wish that was the case, and uh, actually if it was the case, Mr. Ramsey would be driving me back in his Maserati. Um, <laughs> But um, it's, it's not, it's a future that we're working towards and we'll work towards it together. But I think it's heartening to know that other people out there see that as well. They honor the profession and they know that we need to work to honor our teachers and to pay them a living wage and to um, make sure our finance matches our values and our ethics. However, until that day, we have a little bit of work to do. Um, we are, interested, are, are entering sort of a challenging year here. Through the work of this board and previous boards, this school division has done something that was very, very prudent that the state of West Virginia allows that others don't. This school division is managed during very good times to save money and to put it aside into a savings account and to carry over. So, at a time when property values have been down a bit, table gaming revenue has been down, impact fees have been cut in half, we have not had to make a nearly as many sacrifices because we had a board who set aside money during better times to carry us. However, right now, we're using that savings to be able to carry our budget for this year. We will actually need about a million dollars out of that savings account just to balance our budget for the 15-16 year. So we have some work to do. We're having a lot of discussion with community leaders, something that you will hear a lot about coming up. We have a levy vote coming up this year. As a public servant, I will not stand up here and tell you how to vote on the levy because uh, I can't do that. But one of the important things to note is that this levy provides a very significant source of income for us. For those of you who are newer teachers, you may not recognize that there's a vote every five years for the citizens of this county to determine whether or not they pay a levy tax to help support their schools. This is nearly one quarter of our budget. Pays for an enormous amount of services, and it helps keep our teaching salaries competitive, perhaps not in the $80 million range uh, from uh, Teacher Center, but competitive nonetheless. So you will hear a lot more, and I'll be coming out to each one of your individual schools to talk about how these things affect you and about how we're going to move forward together from these. So for all of this, talking about money, talking about um, budgets, at the end of the day, most of what we spend our money on is what? People. Look around. It's a people business, okay? We spend almost 80% of our money on people. That little 8% up there is something interesting called supplies. So um, most of that is paper. Some of that is some other very interesting uh, purchase orders that I've signed, but all good stuff, very creative stuff. It also includes, interestingly enough, propane and electricity, um, other things that we need in order to run schools. And the next biggest part of that, the 4%, that's how much your school board and your administration has saved over the last several years when times were good to help get us through lean times. So we are good, all right? I want to be very, very clear with you. We are a people business, and the important thing for you to know is that for somebody that's in the people business, business is pretty damn good here, okay? Business is pretty good here. 
One of the things for you to see is we've got great faculty, great staff. You guys have been doing an amazing job, money or no, supplies or no. We have had all of these folks. Can I hear from Driswood? Home to the Mathfield champions. T.A. Lowry, National Geographic Spelling Bee. Washington High, five out of six. Woo! How about C.W. Shipley, our National Blue Ribbon School. And Shepherdstown Elementary, 13 years. 13 years for all of you. Charlestown Middle Shoe, I don't even know what a golden horseshoe is, but it sounds good. <laughs> Harper's Ferry, where everybody wants to be. And not just because it's pretty, but because they're happy there. Wildwood, where's my Wildwood Mustangs with the pom-poms? You guys are shiny. You guys are so shiny today. So nice. North Jefferson, Miss Huddle, Teacher of the Year. Okay, Jefferson High School, make some noise just once during this program, Jefferson. Show us some love, Jefferson. <laughs> Thank you, good times. All right, Paige Jackson. Where's my Paige Jackson, folks? And near and dear to my heart, soon to be, right Denny, that's gonna have my baby. Talk to me, I wanna hear some love. They're gonna have my boy. And I, and I, I know you guys are just waiting to like explode over there. Bring it, Ransom! <laughs> oh my God, I got so excited this morning, like the uh, hair on my neck stood up when Ransom came in. They had so much energy, which is fantastic. That's what you want. Okay, Opportunity Learning Center! Woo! 80% graduation going back. Blue Ridge, uh, Blue Ridge Primary, where are you? Woo! Oh, those are the cutest little signs. Are they made for two-year-olds? Look at those little signs, they're so tiny. They're so nice. Shepherdstown Middle School, undefeated boys cross country. Where are you? Undefeated. Woo! And the only school in the state of West Virginia to go from transition to a success school in one year. Where is my shout out from South Jefferson? So one of the things for you to know is that all of these great successes, all of the wonderful things that you're doing, translate into this, okay? Right now, the average graduation rate for all of West Virginia is 84%. It's 90 in Jefferson County. 90! I'm only gonna say that that's higher than Fairfax. So, let me just point out, for a, a business that is the people business, the important thing is we have amazing people. And one of the, woo, cheer baby, cheer, we do. One of the reasons that we did this today is because part of teaching, part of being in a school system is the joy of kids. You get a fresh start every year. You get something new, okay? So I'm gonna put an assignment up here in just a second. And it's a second grade assignment from a school that for obvious reasons will go unnamed. And I want you to take a look at it for a second and we're gonna talk about what it might mean for us. So what I, what I would really love to point out to you right now is that I think Sandy Spinagle had to lean over and explain that to Pat Blanc. <laughs> what is she doing, Sandy? I don't know. <laughs> I'll explain it to you later, Pat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, second grade teacher in a school has an assignment, obviously, for a student, what you want to be when you grow up. This comes in, she's grading papers, and as often happens, sometimes things come in and you're like, 
OMG, <laughs> what am I going to do with this? I can't have this conversation. So to her credit, she just wrote good penmanship, folded that sucker up, put it in the Friday folder and sent it home. <laughs> like I got nothing to say. Um, and the mom gets the folder. She's going through the kids' papers over the weekend and she sees this and is instantly mortified. Oh goodness. So Monday morning comes and she calls up to the school and says, I just need to explain. I am not a pole dancer. <laughs> I have never been a pole dancer. I am not taking pole dancing lessons for my help. <laughs> that is not happening. She said about two months ago, we had an early heavy snow that wasn't expected. And I took my daughter and we went to Home Depot and bought the last snow shovel that they had. And as we walked out into the parking lot, men were running up and offering me money for it. <laughs> Now, to tell the truth, I don't know if that mama was telling the truth, <laughs> but if she wasn't, it was a darn good lie, <laughs> and I'll take it. But the point of this is, there will be many times this year and in the future where something will come to you and you will have that OMG moment. It will seem like something terrible, something confusing, something you haven't dealt with before, something overwhelming. And really, at the end of the day, the same awesome faculty and staff that got the results we just looked at are the same folks who can weather any crisis. And when you take the time and you stop, take a deep cleansing breath, and you find out the story behind the story, it's usually never as bad as you think it is, okay? It's usually something that we can all work through. This county has stood for 214 years. It will stand for another 200. It will be incredible. We will have a great year. We will have a great opportunity. We are gonna have a lot of wonderful kids in here who are so excited about the new year and we are gonna face it together and in a positive, amazing way. And one of the reasons that I know that is the faces that I'm looking out at right now because of what kind of community this is. So let's do a little, let's do a little visual demonstration. If you went to Jefferson County Schools yourself, stand up. They went through the system and they loved it enough, they came back. You just can't get enough. <laughs> can't get enough. Okay, so here's another one. If you have a child or a grandchild that's currently in Jefferson County Schools, stand up. <laughs> so for this faculty, it's personal. It's personal. My child will be in a classroom, in a third grade classroom at Wright Denny. It's personal when it's your kids, when it's your family, when it's your community. Those are the things that make this place great. So part of having a great system and great people is no matter where you stand, and I'm very cognizant of this, standing here, I'm standing on the shoulders of everyone who came before me, okay? of everyone who built this system and made it great. So if you have spent 25 years or more in this amazing school system, if you are one of the 114 people who have spent 25 years or more in Jefferson, stand up so we can honor you and your legacy. Because you saw these people now, you may not remember all of them, but when you're out and about in the hallways and you're walking around and you see somebody who as they're going by you, they have one of these pins on their lanyard, 
This is a special 25-year commemorative Jefferson pin. Only our legacy builders will have one of these, and I hope when you see somebody wearing one of those that you stop and you thank them for their service to Jefferson County Schools, and you thank them for helping us build something great. So I am confident that we're gonna get off to a great start. I will be in every single one of your buildings. Every single building on opening day will have a central office staff member there to help you with registration, loading, unloading, making sure that everything's going great. And we, this is the time of the program where we hand out some prizes. And uh, so there's a lot of, woo, prizes, yeah. Yeah. So since we are talking about love and service, um, who better to exemplify love, service, and suspenders than Mr. Pat Blanc, our Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. When you look at that picture, I have to wonder why they were laughing about the lady trying to put the flag up the pole. I don't understand why that was so, so humorous. I don't know. But, um, but be that as it may, I wanted to uh, recognize a couple really, really veteran employees in our school system. And uh, this first person, I think about it, I know that uh, she's been a diehard football fan for many, many years uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, but the thing, that's, that's the thing about, that's what makes this person special that makes our school system run though. Over this period of time, and we're talking about, you know, 44 years. And this is when Tom Landry was the hat was coaching them and Roger Starback was throwing the miracle passes. But the Cowboys have been good, they have been lousy, they've been good. And this person though, never rubs it into you. She constantly comes in, a good weekend, bad weekend though, just as you want to see a good employee, never changing her affect with you. Maybe her Cowboys just slaughtered your team or maybe they, they got slaughtered themselves. But always she knows there's tomorrow and then we'll go back tomorrow. But uh, when we stop and think about, um, who I want to recognize is, uh, say, 44 years. When we think about that, what was uh, Paul Simon was uh, hit song was like a bridge over troubled waters, which we've all we've all been there before. We've talked about our levee. We'll all be on a bridge over troubled waters if the levee wouldn't pass. I think you know. But um, let's see. Uh, Richard Nixon was our president at that time, and. Uh, a Clockwork Orange, which some of you probably still assign for your students to read, was a big, big movie out at that time. And uh, by golly, the Baltimore Colts defeated the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl that year, 16 to 13. And I know that was probably the highlight of this person's year getting hired, or probably as a real downer, but at this point, I really want to ask Marsha Thompson from the center office if she could come on up and be recognized. She's gonna, she's very, very backward, but she's gonna have to come all the way over. <laughs> if she knew this was happening, she wouldn't have showed up today, I'm sure. I'm gonna notice she did wear her Shepherdstown red and black, though. If she does bleed Shepherdstown colors. <laughs> she's very proud of Shepherdstown right up there with her cowboys. <laughs> it's a dirty trick. Now she won't, she won't reserve any of the boardrooms for me or anything now probably, but uh, <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the Steelers can beat the Cowboys. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> as part of our reward, we wanted to recognize Marsha with a, uh, with a uh, gift certificate, a $50 gift certificate, and just hope that she'll keep coming back and keep coming back. But we appreciate so much what you've done, Marsha. Another 44 years. Uh, another 44 years. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Say, so, so Marsha's our most veteran service personnel person. I want to touch base now and discuss um, our most veteran teacher. Uh, she started teaching in 1973. I want to stop and think, how many of you were not even born in 1973? You know, I mean, golly day, that's a, that's a long time. I know this teacher, she taught one of my children. I know my daughter loved being in the class. And we think back what happened in 1973. Richard Nixon was still our president. <laughs> think about that. Uh, gasoline cost 40 cents a gallon. So uh, we could get to, get to school pretty cheap and all on that. 
And our, one of our favorite TV shows was, uh, was MASH, which we can still watch that probably on Nickelodeon or something, but MASH was one of our, our big hit TV shows. But um, with that, I would like to recognize Miss Barbara Lipscomb from Paige Jackson Elementary School. Barbara, when you came, did you ever think that uh, you would be here this long? Are you a, re no, are you a local resident? Are you from this area? I'm from New Jersey. You're from New Jersey. So who would think that you can come to New Jersey to little Jefferson County and say, this is where I'm going to make my living? You raised your children. She was very happy. The Vietnam War ended in 1973 also, <laughs> so I'm sure she was excited about that if you, for your husband's sake anyway, <laughs> for your husband's sake. But uh, appreciate so much for you, for you. I'd like to say for that tenure at one place and just serving how many children's lives you must have touched is uh, you could probably make that into one of the common core math problems of how many students you have touched. I don't know. But, uh, but I'd like to present with you also a gift certificate and so much of our appreciation Thank of what you you've done much. for Jefferson County. Thank you, Thank you very much. And finally, I have an award for the uh, Most Spirited School Award. That uh, This was voted in an objective way from people that aren't associated with our school system uh, that, that were within the, within the audience here, okay? They're not, not in the audience as employees or non-employees, though, that we're looking to see who is the most spirited school. And the worst thing about this is we have 17 schools and there's one winner. But uh, the winning school, what we'll get is a, a pizza party for their entire staff. And I know that... Miss Arlene Leonard's here, and it's not for the students. I guarantee you this is only for the staff. I know. <laughs> Falls within all child nutrition guidelines, I guarantee you. But the school that's been awarded the most spirited school here today is T.A. Lowry Elementary School. Would somebody like to come up from T.A. Lowry? I'd like to tell you about Ms. Martin, the principal at T.A. Lowry Elementary School. She's certainly done her part to support Jefferson County Schools. Because I think about every two or three years she'll call me and say, Mr. Blanc, uh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Not this year. Not this year. And where do her children go to school but the T.A. Lowry Elementary School. So uh, she's doing her part all around, supporting all the students, also helping our, our child count increase. But here's your pizza certificate, and thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you have a super school year. Thank you. The reason that I suspect that all of you are the most enthusiastic, yeah, to see each other because you're fabulous faculty and you have fun together, but because you know you're going to meet some great new kids this year, okay? So we're going to start off. You're going to meet a couple of the most amazing, talented kids in the state, in the country, and they're here as a big thank you to perform for you. So let's hear from them. I don't know. 